guys, this is Nicole here with Nesting Haven. Today I have a Goodwill haul for you. I actually went back to Goodwill today guys and I found a ton of stuff. I'm going to break this haul up into at least two, maybe three videos because I just have so much and I do not have enough table space or time really to explain it and it'll probably just be super long. So it will be at least a three part series here. And the red tags were a dollar and the um, yellow tags were half off. So, the first items I picked up were a couple of affigans. I really like the colors on these. They're affigans, they sell for $3 a piece. So, I got this one here with the nice green and the chevron pattern and this kind of large grainy square um, one here. I have a couch that's black. I absolutely hate it, but it was a good price and it's a dream with the kids because it just wipes off. It's kind of a leather material, so I just, I really hate the way it looks and I've been trying to find some way to dress it up. I've tried throw pillows, but it's kind of a narrow couch and the throw pillows do not stay on there with a the toddler, they're always on the floor. I will still put some on there just because it looks a little odd, but I'm hoping I can just like tuck these around it or something and make it look a little bit nicer. We'll see if they're the right size or not, but I figured I'd give that a shot. And then I picked up this nice little, I guess it's probably a cutting board technically, I'm not quite sure. Um, I guess they call it a cheese board, but I'm just gonna use it for wall decor. I really love the pattern on this. The bright colors, it was half off, so it was a dollar. And then I got these vintage bowls here. This is a nesting bowl set. They were inside each other. I just took them out so you could see them. Um, these were $4 for the four of them, so a dollar a piece. And I did look these up. They kind of look like imperial glass nesting bowls. I'm not quite sure if that's what they are. I can try to get better on the design here if you guys know what these are let me know below in the comments but i did see this pattern in a set of five actually so it comes with a larger bowl on ebay and someone was selling them for 50 dollars on there plus um like 15 dollars shipping and handling so i think i can stand to make a decent profit off of it to do a little bit more research on them but i thought those were nice anyways I'll probably put those in my antique booth. And then I do collect tins, and I really like floral tins. So this one was a dollar. And let's see, we on the edge here. So there's nice little sayings on the side and all the pretty flowers. I thought this was really cute. It's a nice one. So let me add that to my collection. And then I got this teapot here. It did not have a lid, it is enamel. Um, but I just wanted it to put a plant in anyways. I thought it would be super cute with a plant, so it didn't really bother me that it did not have the lid because, you know, obviously I want to use it for a planter. And I like the floral design on this. Um, didn't really have a make or anything on it, but it was $3 um, half off, so $1.50. Has the nice wooden handle as well. I picked up this enamel pot here. Um, it was supposed to be ten dollars, but it was red tag day, so it was only a dollar. So I'm gonna put that in my antique booth. I have a full set myself that we bought at a yard sale for a buck, like I think it was a year. I think it was last year actually. I might have actually hauled those. So I'm gonna put those in my antique booth. People love those around here. I picked up a couple of books. Red Tag was a dollar that day, so it was not $3, this was a dollar. And I do have an antique booth, so I thought this was fitting. I can't really read what it says here, but it's How to Restore China Bric-a-Brac in Small Antiques. So I thought that would be a great read for me as you know, I just started out and I don't really know too much about the restoration of, you know, fixing stuff up that is old, you know, without damaging it, you know, don't want to use the wrong stuff on it. So I thought that'd be a good read for me. And then I picked up this one here. This one was $3. Um, 
It's just the house plants, the complete book of house plants and indoor gardening. So I do like gardening. I thought that'd be a nice read for me. Um, I'm trying to get better with random piece of paper. Hello. <laughs> Actually, look at that. That'd be really pretty framed. Hmm. I might rip my book out a little bit, guys. And it's blank on the back. Nice. So that might get framed. <laughs> but um, I've been trying to get into more of the houseplants lately and getting different types because, you know, they really do filter out the air for you in the house. You don't have to buy those um, air filter machines and stuff. I would rather have the plants do the work you know, salt lamps and stuff like that. So just kind of interesting to see the different uh, plants that are out there that I might not have heard of. So yeah, I got that. And then I picked up a handy dandy, uh, what is this, brass hanger. <laughs> um, yeah, put a plant on or something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I liked it and those are always pretty nifty to have on hand. And I, I've actually seen this there at this Goodwill for at least three or four weeks. And, um, well, three or four weeks ago it was there. I took a couple weeks off from going there because they were getting expensive. But it was Red Tag Day, so I ended up getting this for a dollar. Nice piece of milk glass. I don't have any milk glass in the plates like this, so I thought that was a good find. Add that to my collection. And then these here are actually vintage... 1984 um, sun catchers you can uh, paint them like the stained glass so they had a bunch of these there I actually got a few more um, I might only picked up one more it's a large um, circle one I'll probably show you one in the next haul um, but these are all new in package from 1984 they had this one here they got the dinosaur only well, had two of those and the balloons, and did I just have that one too? Okay, so we have two of those. We've got like two of each, I guess. That looks like two clowns, and then I guess there's only one of the geese here. So I'm not sure the market on these really. I did a quick search on eBay just to see if these are even around and stuff, and I saw one going for about six bucks plus some shipping, and then I saw someone had lotted off a group of them. I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember how many they had, maybe three or four for, um, I don't know, around 15 bucks. So I can make a profit off of it if, um, you know, someone's interested, obviously. But I did pick those up and figured new in package, I would give those a shot. And, you know, 1984's around the time I was born. So I thought that was pretty neat anyways and thought those were pretty fun. And then, what else did I get? I got this uh, wall hook here. It's a little teapot. Um, I think I'm going to put this in my antique booth. I do like it, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe like an apron or something. I might give it a try here and see if I um, can come up with a use for it. They do, I guess, have a collection of them. Uh, they had four, four total, but I only found that one. So oh, I thought it was cute anyways. This was... How much was this? So it was three dollars. So it was half off, uh, one fifty. And then I thought this was really cute. Little bluebirds inside here. And this is a ceramic birdhouse. It does hang. It has the nice chain here. It has like the butterfly cutouts and stuff there. I don't know. Do you think this is was for a candle with all the cutouts? I'm not sure. Probably. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I thought that would be cute. I'm gonna put that in my antique booth. Um, it was four dollars, so very cute. And then let's see. I think the last of what I got was some baskets. I picked up this one here. I thought it looked like Mickey Mouse. I'm not sure if that was its attention. Maybe it was originally like you know something like this. But I picked it up and I was like, oh, that looks like Mickey. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of cute anyways. And then it was only a dollar. So I went ahead and got that. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang on to it or not. I am doing a basket wall, but I don't think 
the Mickey-esque-ness of it would really tie in with my boho vibe. It'd be kind of, kind of silly, but I don't know. And this one here, you could um, put a plant in or something. Um, I wasn't sure, like I'm starting to do my basket wall and I've been collecting these for a while and it's hard to know until you start putting it all together. So this one was only a dollar. So I picked it up anyways, just to see if I might want to add a little bit of color to the wall. I could always, you know, put some uh, faux flowers in this. So we'll see if I end up liking that or not. If not, I'll just sell it in my antique booth. <laughs> I got this one for my wall as well. This one was only a dollar. I think this one will look nice with, you know, the other baskets I have gotten. It has nice detailing on it. I don't have any, it kind of almost looks like a starburst sort of look to it. So that one was kind of nice. And then I got this one. It actually wasn't priced and it was kind of annoying because, you know, all the other ones were a dollar. And she's like, how about $2? And I just, you know, my kid, kids were with me and I just wanted to get out of there. They were getting fussy. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, it's quite large though, so maybe that's why. But um, it's actually, they say it was like made in Pakistan or something. I don't know. There was a sticker on it somewhere. Where did it go? Probably falling off at this point. Oh, made in the Philippines. So I don't know. That's probably a nice handmade, you know weed basket is probably worth you know the two dollars it is a little kind of gross but I might I might consider painting where it's kind of you know a little bit worn here and stuff we'll see we'll see what I do with it it's pretty cool though and then I picked up this one last one here um, for my antique booth I don't really want it but I did think it was cute it has the nice um, bird houses here with the fence and the Kind of vines around this it's not it's actually a wood um it's not a ribbon it's a wood weave so i thought that was pretty cool and it has some coloring down here and then it has um sorry guys <laughs> i'm flip it around here and then it has the nice wooden handle so this was three dollars and i will be putting that in my antique booth so that's gonna do it for this part of the haul guys um, so when I finish all this, you know, the haul from all of what I got this day, I'll tell you like the grand total and then the big discount I got off of everything because with my Goodwill, um, I have a Goodwill card and I actually get a certain percentage off the more I buy. So I ended up getting 25% off of everything you see here and what you will see in the other videos. So you know, what the prices were I actually got, you know, for quite a bit less. So I think by the end of it, I ended up getting around 40, somewhere around $40 off my whole um, haul that day. So stay tuned for the rest of this haul, guys. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And we'll catch you next time.